I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am focusing over the control engineering. In the control engineering, we are targeting the body plot. This is the problem they are given it. It's a special problem, and we have we have to determine the value of k for the gain margin, uh, gain cos over frequency to be phi and uh, phi radian per second. This given in the video in 2001 and 2004 for 16 and 40 marks. This is a very important problem. Okay, first write this one. G solution this is G of S is nothing but K S square 1 plus 0 0.2 S 1 plus 0 0.02 S. This is step 1. Step 1. Now I will consider K is equal to 1. That is very important part. Therefore, g of s is equal to k s square divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 s 1 plus 0 0.02 s. Now, replace s by j omega. It can be written as what? g j omega is equal to g omega whole square divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega 1 plus 0 0.02 j omega now this is step 2 now step 3 step 3 control function or corner frequency you can call it I will consider this is a factors and this is CF that is corner frequency radian per second now this is the procedure I am following it for S square first for one sorry for one for constant one for constant one the corner frequency will be nil and next next what j omega square j omega square j omega square if you place substitute in a in place of yes j omega the corner frequency will be what nil again nil next then this term 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega raised to minus 1 we are bringing to the upward side therefore it becomes minus 1 here what is the corner frequency w tc is equal to 1 by t 1 by t is nothing 1 by 0 0.2 0 0.2 is nothing but what 5 radian per second per second next this term 1 plus 0 0.02 j omega raised to minus 1 bringing upward again it is in this way wct or omega tc 1 by t in place of t 0 0.02 it becomes 50 radian per second per second after completion of this one you have to go for step 4 arrange the CF in an increasing order we have to arrange in the increasing order first factor will be 1 next J Omega square next 1 plus 0 0.2 1 plus 0 0.2 J Omega raised to minus 1 next 1 plus 0 0.02 J Omega raised to minus 1 now frequencies they are given the frequencies here nil 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 this is nil phi increasing order and last will be 50 last will be 50 next to slope for slope you have to refer this chart for the slope this is the slope factor 
for constant its slope will be 0 0 net will be 0 4 it will be plus or minus 2 90 now n is nothing but is this square square here 2 into 20 that means it will be 40 whether it is a plus or minus 40 it depends upon here it is upward therefore we have to consider positive sign if it is downward then we have to consider negative sign 40 40 0 plus 40 40 next here here this one plus n into 20 for this one slope plus there is no square term here therefore n is nothing but 1 minus 1 it will be 20 here 20 minus 40 sorry plus 40 minus 20 20 plus 40 minus 20 is 20 next year similarly here it is also minus 20 as per the procedure plus 40 minus 20 minus 20 is nothing but 0 plus 40 minus 40 minus 40 then it becomes 0 now magnitude section now we are focusing over here for constant what we have to write 20 log 1 for this one what we have to write 2 into 40 all right 2 into 20 just you just multiply the 2 here and 20 it becomes automatically 40 2 into 20 log 10 root 1 plus sorry I made a mistake I have to go for this one I have to go for this one I have taken this one okay it is a square term square means here n is the square nothing but 2 2 into 20 is nothing but 40 40 log 10 omega that's it for this one how to how we have to write minus 20 minus 20 log 10 raised to 1 plus 0 0.2 omega whole square follow this procedure next again minus 20 log 10 1 1 plus 0 0.02 omega whole square for face angle for face angle what we have to do we have to go for this one <coughs> for face face for this one 0 and next for this one n into 20 n into 90 n into 90 is nothing but what 2 into 90 is nothing but 180 next we are focusing here positive because it lies here upward if it is negative then you have to take minus sign if it lies bottom you have to take negative here minus tan inverse 0 0.2 omega by 1 again minus tan inverse 0 0.02 omega divided by 1 this completes your table then I have to find out the magnitude how to find out the magnitude very simple just add these terms you will get the magnitude step 5 step 5 step 5 magnitude m is equal to 20 log 10 1 plus 40 log omega minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 omega 
you have to take only square for this term not for entire thing okay square for only this term minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.02 omega whole square <laughs> this is the magnitude then I will create a table here omega and magnitude for 0 0.1 what is the value what is 0 0.1 this is the graph here I am considering this value as a 0 0.1 <coughs> this is 1 this is 10 this is 100 1000 10,000 this is for magnitude and this is for phase this is a zero line therefore first one is 0 0.1 if you substitute omega value here 0 0.1 you will get what you will get minus 40.00 you have to substitute omega in place in place of omega you have to substitute 0 0.1 you will get this answer after getting this one just follow this procedure follow this procedure 20 log 1 plus 40 log alpha x is a uh, bracket course minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.2 alpha x whole square close the bracket minus 20 root sorry log root 1 plus 0 0.02 alpha x whole square close the bracket alpha sol is nothing but is equal to sign appears now minus 20 because it is a 40 is given then we are considering the minus 20 okay minus 20 shift sol is equal to you will get the answer here of minus 20 first you have to consider as 0 0.1 and this value if you substitute in the omega you will get 40 now omega it will be 40 but for minus 20 for minus 20 it will be 0 0.3 similarly if for 0 what is the value because minus 40 minus 20 it becomes 0 then 20 again it will go for 40 for 0 what is the answer shift sol is equal to for 0 what is the answer <laughs> for 0 the answer will be 1.01 1 1.01 1 .01. similarly for 20 positive 20 because it has to cross from negative to the positive now positive 20 what is the answer shift sol is equal to why I am moving 20 20 because of this log it moves 20 20 20 20 40 60 it moves in this way because of this I am going now for plus 20 it will be 3.49 approximate 3.5 again last I will go for 40 40 shift sol is equal to for 40 for 40 it will be It will be 22.46 that's enough first we have completed this one okay now we will place here okay before going this one we will complete the face also face now face angle I will complete for face angle you have to refer this part just add this one face uh, step 6 face angle for face angle phi phi is equal to 180 just I am neglecting 0 180 plus positive 180 minus tan inverse 0 by 2 omega minus tan inverse 
zero point zero two omega. Now I have to go for table here. Omega and face angle. That is fine. For zero point one, because of the log, we have to take from zero point. If you substitute zero point one in place of omega, you will get one seventy eight point seven three. Next, we got that it is a positive sign. It is a positive. Therefore, the next value will be what? Sixty. Next value will be sixty. Otherwise, you can take zero point one, zero point three, one, five, ten. You can go in this way also, no problem. But I am going in reverse direction. We came to know that it is reducing from the one eighty, positive one eighty. Therefore, I will go for directly, directly to the one fifty, one fifty. Now. One fifty, and I will go for one fifty here. I will substitute one fifty here. One fifty, one eighty, minus tan inverse, zero point two alpha x, minus tan inverse, zero point zero two alpha x, alpha sol is equal to what is one fifty? One fifty. It's a positive shift sol. Answer for this one one fifty is. Two point five five. Next, I will go for because it this moves in thirty thirty order. Therefore, one fifty. Then I will directly go for one twenty. One twenty. In place of one fifty, I have to write one twenty. Shift sol is equal to. The answer will be six point five three zero. Next, I will go for directly ninety. Ninety. Shift sol is equal to because it is reducing towards the zero here. In normal case, what happen? We have to take minus one eighty here. But in this way, in this problem, it is a special problem. It starts from the positive sign and reaches to the zero. It is a special problem. For the ninety, for ninety, it will be fifteen point eight one. Directly, I will go for thirty. What is the value for thirty? Thirty shift is equal to for thirty. It will be ninety-seven point four. Oh, we have written three hundred here. It is for thirty shift sol is equal to. It should be ninety-seven point eight one. If you go for zero, the calculator doesn't show the answer. That means it should be infinity. If you substitute zero here, the calculator doesn't show the answer. Okay. Now I have to move thirty, thirty, thirty. This positive thirty. I have made a zero line here. Thirty, sixty, thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty. One fifty, one fifty, one eighty. The calculator doesn't give the answer at all. It indicates it is an infinite here. And finally, the calculator says can't solve. Okay, first I will go for the magnitude one. These are the data. This is the data. We have arrived it. We have arrived this one. Now for this is this is negative twenty minus twenty minus forty minus sixty. This will be positive twenty, positive forty, and positive sixty. Here, here they have said minus forty. For minus forty, zero point one. Here, this is the first point. Next, for twenty, it is zero point three. This is the second point, zero point three. For zero, it is around one. Next, for twenty, positive twenty, three point five. Three point five. Uh, for forty, 
40 40 is here uh, 40 is here they are saying it 22 something here this completes the dialogue if you draw a line it is almost straight straight this completes the diagram this is for minus 40 minus 20 0 plus 20 plus 40 db gcf is nothing but 1.01 .01 db now similarly for face angle it start from for 0 0.1 around here one for 150 150 is here 150 they are saying is 2.55 2 is here 2.55 is around here 120 120 it is 6.55 120 6.55 is here for 90 will not I will directly go for 30 here for 30 it is 97 97 is 30 30 97 okay you can consider it here the graph will move in this way it doesn't touches the zero line it moves in this way it doesn't touch the zero line okay next what is the requirement they have said it as per the data as per the data they have said it we have to find out the value of k here but they are given phi radian what is the value of phi radian where is the phi radian this is the phi radian draw a line of phi radian here this is the phi radian now measure this value here up to here it is 20 24 24 28 up to here it is 20 20 24 28 28 db 28 db now how to find out the k 20 log k is equal to now you have to take minus 28 because if 28 lies here then it becomes minus of minus plus 28 if the 28 lying above we have to take minus 28 minus 28 it is very important here then solve for this one in order to know the k value see here the calculator shows if you substitute the zero value final answer will be can't solve that indicate it is infinite now I have to fall for the uh, find out for the k now how to find out k 20 log alpha x close bracket is equal to minus 28 shift solve is equal to the k value will be k value will be 0 0.039 approximately 0 0.04 4 4 4 4 5 radian per second this is the answer in some problems they will draw a parallel line following with this one in this way they will draw a line if you want to draw draw otherwise no problem they will draw a parallel line exactly following this one in some books they will draw it otherwise you can solve this problem in this way no problem you will get the full marks without any problem I am Santosh Gadan.